Yeah, you got some yucks? Jesus is praying for best of people. Yeah. 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 Okay, so apparently they had some time to kill. They said, can one of the judges, a couple of judges, get up? I am not of many talents like my husband. Big sexy. Yeah, that's, that's right. I know, right? That's right. I know. That's right. I'm here again. That's right. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, we actually met you in stand up. In Bremerton, of all places. Yes. And it was amazing because when I met him, he had a crazy stalker there to watch him. Yeah, she still tries to friend me. And, and she keeps sending him messages. We've been married for three years and she sends him messages. I told my husband I found somebody. And he looks at me and goes, who'd she find? And I said, I don't know. She's your stalker. Oh, okay. So I am gonna, um, I am gonna talk about a couple things. Um, I, haven't, I haven't got out for a little while, but I'm gonna tell you guys, First of all, I'm going to tell you, everybody's been kind of looking and noticing I have a Band-Aid on my nose, and everybody kept kind of asking. Well, Todd did. Everybody keeps asking me. They, they want to know what my husband did to me. Hey, hey. And I'm like, clearly, of the two of us, I'm more terrifying than he is. I he is, confirm that. Yes, he's way more afraid of me. No, I actually, I had a biopsy last week. And this is, sadly, it's not my first time having biopsies. <laughs> I've had a lot of cancer scares. And in my family, so Todd over here is actually my blood cousin. And Todd will confirm that in our family it's not if, it's when and what kind of cancer you get. So much so that like when we go, I know everyone's like, this is so dark. I promise it's gonna get lighter. And it does get better. Like if we literally, we go to the family, family functions and we have to sit at the table that, you know, where, what stage we're in. And when you go in, you're like, I've never had cancer. And they go, go sit at the kids' table. <laughs> so this year, I actually went into them, and I'm like, woohoo, guess what, y'all? <laughs> I said, I graduated to the adult table. And they said, really? Oh, my God, what kind of cancer do you have? And I said, it's basal cell carcinoma. And they looked at me and said, bitch, get back to the kids' table. He's laughing because he knows what basal cell carcinoma is. He's like, that's the stoner of cancers. What? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. See, this is what anybody with cancer will tell you. They're like, basal cell carcinoma, it is cancer if the dermatologists tell you. And you can really play that card. Like, oh, I, had, I, you know, I just had cancer surgery. And everybody who doesn't know what it is, they're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then when they ask what kind, and you say basal cell carcinoma, like my brother who's had lymphoma looked at me and said, bitch, shut up. That's not even cancer. That's the stoners of cancer, seriously. Well, actually, I think he said something a little bit more, uh, like with an R word, and I said, we, 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 we're from Renton, we don't say that. No. It is actually, it is funnier. Yeah. No, I was just thinking if I smoke some, it might be funny. How many times have you smoked basil? Tonight? Tonight, yeah. yeah. So anyway, thank you. So, yeah, so... Uh, no, so for when I take the stoners of cancer, it's you know where they go. For any of you guys who know the song, I was gonna metastasize, but I got high. <laughs> I was gonna fuck you up, but I got high. I was gonna make you die, but I got high. Anyway. <laughs> Fun crowd. Why don't you guys oh, yeah. Um, I am actually, I, I, this is my, getting ready to celebrate my 55th birthday next Woo! week. Woo! Yes, thank you. Thank you. Don't do it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, hey whoa, whoa. this dude over here says don't do it like I had an alternative. There's only one alternative to turning 55. And I'm going to, if like cancer didn't get me, I'm going to 55. <laughs> this, is a, this is a weird crowd. 21. God. Yeah, so... Um, that was, uh, luckily, I don't. I know that I don't look my age. I don't look like right here. Okay, right here. But from here down, I do. Okay, I, I, I totally look my age. I'm not going to show you. Um, Why'd you look at me? 
I wasn't looking at you guys. I'm not going to show you. It's, it's her eye. Don't worry, it's her eye. Yeah. I'm going to talk to the ladies over here. So, so let me ask you, uh, ladies, have you ever heard of the Naked Ladies Spa? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, where's my ladies? How many of you guys have actually been to the Naked Ladies Spa? Oh my God, oh my God. I call this heaven on earth. This is my happy place. Ladies, if you've not ever been in, T in Tacoma, they have a place called the Naked Ladies Spa. And literally, you go in and you check your inhibitions at the door. They hand you a hairnet and a washcloth. And my first time going in there, I was like, I was terrified because I was like, ladies, I flunked high school PE because I refused to dress down in front of all the hot bitches in school because I wasn't gonna have them making fun of me, right? So here I am paying to be naked in public and to be sit there and have them hot chicks make fun of me. And I'm stressed. I'm like, oh my god, naked in public? Relaxation. <laughs> naked in public? Relaxation. I was like, screw it. I'm going in there. I've earned this. Good job. And I go in there, and I took a look around at all these naked ladies, and I thought, my god. Compared to them, I am the hot chick from high school. <laughs> early though. If you stay there a little bit later, then the PLU hard bodies come in from the college. But if you get in there, if you've been in there long enough, you don't care at that point. You're so relaxed. You're like, God. And these are the only ones that I see out of all these women that are naked in this spa. The only ones that are nervous about it are these bitches with hard bodies. Like these girls, their boobs, their nipples still pointed forward. Instead of like you old ladies, you know, like your toes, they just kind of stare at your toes. This way. And these guys, they went in there and they're taking these little washcloths and they're trying to hide like a boob or an ass cheek. And I'm like, Let, girl, look, if I had your body, I would be not scared about being in front of all these old ladies. I would be naked in the parking lot. Like, have you seen this ass? Oh my God. It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah. Truly, no. I miss that. Like I used to. I used to have a nice. Like back in the day, I had one of them heart-shaped asses. Okay, I still do. Only nowadays it's anatomically correct. The man doesn't smack the ass anymore. It's more like clear. Look how poor Seriously, I am 55, and ladies, I look at some of you beautiful young girls, and I'm like, oh. Now I understand when I was younger, why the older ladies used to look at me when I, because I developed very young. And the women were like, mm, yeah, enjoy those while you have them, girl. Mm. They're gonna be fun when you get old. Now I get it. Ladies, I knew, I knew that there were certain things that I could expect when I got older, right? Like, I knew the boobs were gonna fall, okay? I didn't realize that the most exercise I'm gonna get on a daily basis nowadays is when I take my, I play a basketball with my boobs after I take my bra off. And I'm sitting there walking across the floor. Actually, I played hacky sack. God, he screwed my own joke. Awesome, that's okay. So I play hacky sack with my boobs when I have to take my bra off. And then my nipples off my knees. No, the basketball comes in later the next day when I go to put the bra back on and I have to play basketball to get the boobs in the bra. Slam dunk. Mm. Okay, so I knew that the boobs were gonna go. I knew that that was gonna happen. But I did not know that we lose elasticity in all your skin, in all the parts of your body. And you know how I found out? I'm looking at some of you younger girls. You know how I found out? I was putting lotion on. And I kept going, what the hell is touching the back of my leg? And then I realized it was the bottom of my ass cheek stuck to the back of my leg. And then I was like, really, even this? <laughs> and you didn't want to show us. <laughs> <laughs> the description. Oh, it gets better. It gets better. It does get better. It does get better. So, um, <laughs> no, and, and I, you know, there's this, like after you've had children, you've had a few kids, you have what, what I lovingly refer to as my, my, uh, my, uh, 
No, I don't call it that. That's stupid. I don't like that food flap. I call it my front flap. It's my front flap. Because you know what, ladies? You know what happens when you have children? When your body is so... Man, you have no idea what you have missed out on. I'm not having to have kids. When you have children that are so big that you can't touch the end of your stomach when you're pregnant, do you know what happens to that skin? It doesn't roll up like a Venetian blind after you have a kid. It just flops down in your lap, right? And some of these ladies are like, mm -hmm, testify, sister. Let me tell you something. I did not realize how bad it was until one night and, and the husband and I were getting intimate. Maybe he's tapping it from behind, and I'm just saying. And all of a sudden, he stopped mid and had the nerve to ask me, what's that noise? <laughs> but, but to be fair, to be fair, it did sound like there was another person in the room with us. Running a marathon in flip-flops. I just turned and looked at him and said, baby, that's my body giving you a performance evaluation. <laughs> Congratulations, you got a standing ovation. <laughs> I'm Marianne Riley. Thank you guys. Yeah.